Now that you have a good understanding of the functions in the post editor, it's time to start creating some content for our site. So in this video, we'll create our first post. From the toolbar, you can simply select New Post from the drop-down menu to enter the Post Creation panel. You could also select Add New underneath Posts in the Navigation menu. For our first article, I'll start by entering a title. Next, I'll paste some content that I've created ahead of time into the Content Editor. Notice that the editor automatically resizes to accommodate the longer content. And as we scroll up and down, the toolbar sticks to the top of the editor, keeping the formatting tools available at all times. If you don't like this feature, you can disable it in the screen options at the top of the page. Now, WordPress automatically creates a link to the post, which is called the permalink. This is the URL or web address where visitors will view this new post on the web. You can edit this permalink to make the URL easier to share and remember if you like. It's a good idea to assign your blog post to a category. Categories allow you to organize your posts into topics or groups of related articles so that your visitors can quickly find all the articles within that category or topic. You can also create a new category directly from this module and any new categories you create here will be available for use in your other posts. And you can assign a post to more than one category if you like. Finally, let's enter a couple of tags to further categorize this post. Now, tags are like keywords, one-word summaries of your new post or article. And in most themes, they appear as links at the bottom of each article enabling your readers to easily find other articles that contain the same tag. It's also a good idea to choose a featured image for your article, a large photo or image that will add visual interest or set the tone for your article. When you're ready to publish your post, the Publish module is your last stop. You can choose to save a draft so that you can come back and work on this later or click Preview to see what the post will look like when it's published. Status indicates the state of the post. Pending review means the draft is waiting for review by an editor or administrator prior to publication. Draft means the post has not yet been published and remains a draft for you. Visibility determines how your post will appear to everyone else. Public posts will be visible to everyone who visits your site. And a sticky post will ensure that this post stays at the top of your blog page, even after other posts are published. Password-protected posts are published, but visitors must enter the password that you specify here before they can view the content. And private posts are visible only to you and the other editors or administrators of your site. By default, your post will be published immediately but you can also schedule a post to be automatically published at a future date and time. Or you can choose a date in the past to backdate posts. When you're happy with your settings, click the Publish button. WordPress will save and publish your new post. And a quick visit to our homepage will confirm that our new post now appears at the top of our blog page in chronological order. Notice that only the excerpt appears, but when we click the Continue Reading link, we'll be taken to the full page view of this article.